It's your pink bag lady, and I wanna talk about organizing your closet. And I'm gonna give you five easy tips on organizing your closet. It's just a good time of year. We're kind of transitioning from winter to spring, hopefully soon. Um, so we're gonna talk about five easy ways to organize your closet. That way you can feel a little bit of confidence going into it. All right, so we're gonna start with step one. Step one, we're just gonna remove. We're gonna remove everything from your closet. Clothes, shoes, you name it, everything, including the hangers, it's all gonna come out. Everything's gonna come out of your closet. I know that's gonna be overwhelming, but you can do it. Take everything out. All right, step two, we are simply going to refresh. So now that your closet is all empty, it's a great time for you to clean it. We want to dust the shelves. We want to um, sweep off all the cobwebs, vacuum the carpet, give it a real good cleaning so that once we put everything back in, everything will stay clean, all right? So step one, step two, fairly easy. Now we're gonna get to kind of the hard step, which is um, step three, and that's reflecting. All right, so when we're reflecting, we wanna think about three things when we look at each item, okay? So one, do you wanna keep it? Do you wanna keep the item? If not, two, do you wanna throw it away? If you don't wanna do that, then three, do you wanna give it a second life? Do you wanna donate it somewhere? Do you want to sell it? Do you want to gift it? Just make a decision as to whether you're gonna do one, two, or three, all right? So you're gonna either keep it, throw it away, or give it a second life. Now, when you are looking at it, trying to decide which one of those three you're gonna do, there are still some more questions that you wanna ask, okay? So your first question is gonna be, how often do I actually wear it? Do I actually wear this item or do I think that I will wear it? Have I had it in there for many, many months, many years, thinking that one day I will wear it? If you have and you have not worn it, it needs to go. And then you need to decide whether you're keeping it, throwing it away, or you're giving it a second life. All right, the next question you wanna ask is, does it fit? Not will it fit after you lose your um, the pounds that you're working on right now so that you can fit into your summer swimsuit, but does it fit? Realistically, does it fit? Is If not, it's not something that you need to hang on to. All right, the third question is, is it in good condition? If it has holes in it, if it's faded, you know, those types of things, we really need to think about why are we keeping it? It might be comfy, but is it something that we really need to put back in our closet? And then when you're looking at the good condition, is it something that you actually would sell or give to someone or do you need to just throw it away? All right, um, you also wanna look and see if it, if it um, actually fits and matches your personal style right now. So um, there's a few things that have been in my closet uh, that are from many, many years ago that probably do not match my current personal style. So those are some things that I need to probably get rid of. Um, well, I will say there are a lot of clothes from when I was younger that are coming back in style. So who knows? Um, but if you're not wearing it, you really shouldn't keep it. All right, then that last question we wanna ask is, um, does it actually belong in your closet or does it belong somewhere else? Like sometimes we have um, books in our closet or we have pictures. We have all these odds and end things that are in our closet. Is that the best place for it or do we need to um, put it somewhere else in your house? So after you've asked yourself those five questions and you've decided what's going back in your closet, then we're ready for step four. And step four is simply just we're gonna reorganize, okay? So once you put everything back in, you need to decide how you're gonna reorganize. Are you reorganizing by um, color or do you prefer to reorganize by um, style or fabric? Um, like I will do long sleeve and then short sleeve. I will do t-shirts and dressy shirts. Um, I will do uh, kind of more 
business casual clothes together and then fancy clothes together. So just kind of think about how you want to best put everything back in your closet so that it's easy for you to find. That's part of this whole reorganization. There's no point of just throwing it back in there with no plan. Um, the other thing too, you might want to group things that go together. So like this black shirt that I wear under this cardigan, that might be something that I want to keep together so that I'm not having to go five different places in my closet to find today's outfit. The other thing you want to look at is what do you want to fold versus what do you want to hang? So some things like, um, you know, blouses, those are definite you want to hang. Um, pants, like dress pants, you may want to hang those. But sweaters, they could be folded. Um, jeans could be folded. So just kind of decide what's the best use of your um, hanging space and then your folding space. All right, the other thing that you wanna look at is maybe utilizing some bins to keep things um, organized and separated. So you might want a bin for your belts or a bin for scarves, um, a bin for socks. It just really depends on what all you have. If you have hats, you might want a bin for your hats. So I'm gonna show you a few of um, the 31 bins that I have and that I use in my closet and then I will put links below um, this video to actually send you to the website to show you where you can get your hands on these bins. All right, so let's look at them real quick. So um, we have this really cute new small storage bin that I love and this would be a good one for just simple little things like if you had, um, you know, uh, small belts i think belts would fit in here perfectly depending upon how many socks you have if you just wanted to have dress socks or if you still wear nylons you know just think about how you're going to organize and what would fit fit well with this okay then we have um our mini cubes and our mini cubes are just um that they're a smaller version of our your way cube which i'm going to show you here in a minute so again, this would be another one that would be good for maybe scarves or um, just little odds and end things that you would like to have. And then one of the things you can do with um, our 31 bins, is you can actually personalize this and have it um, stitched on here, what's inside. So that will help you know. And another way that you can know is that a lot of our bins have this um, clear PVC window so you can um, see what's inside or you can use a dry erase marker and actually write what is on side, what, what's inside um, on the outside here. And then you can purchase lids or you can um, not have lids. I will tell you, lids will help you keep dust and things like that out of your containers. But this is the Your Way Rectangle, and it is perfect. This would be another good one for belts and um, socks, things like that. So the Your Way Rectangle would fit great on a shelf. And then last but not least, we have our Your Way Cube. This is gonna be a lot bigger, and this is gonna be for your bulky, bigger things. So, you know, you might have boots that you wanna put in here or hats, simple things like that. But having this nice organization so that you can easily get to your items is a great way to help you be able to maintain this reorganization and cleanliness that you have, have worked so hard to establish. Okay, and then the very last one, number five, is just gonna be to repeat. So in six months, you're gonna wanna do this whole process over again, because usually in six months, that's gonna be when we, especially right now, when we transition from summer to fall, and so we're gonna take those seasonal um, clothes and, and switch them out and make sure that we have everything that we need for the upcoming season. Make sure you follow up if you are gonna gift things or you're going to donate them or throw them away that you actually do that. All right, so if you have watched this video and you want more tips on organization, be sure and um, fill out the contact information so you can get on my email list. You wanna make sure you're on my mailing list. Be sure and like and subscribe to this video and to my channel 
so that you can know when I have new organizational videos that come out. But where do you want me to help you organize next? In your home or your car or where is it? What's the area in your house besides your closet that is giving you the biggest headache? So comment below and let me know.